Hello. Right, I popped home from work, do a bit more to the van. My mate helped me uh, the other day do a few bits. As you can see, I've got some uh, vapour barrier up on the walls. Um, and on the other side, I've also got the vapour barrier and the uh, uprights to take the, the wall. Um, I've left myself, both sides, I've left myself um, a channel right the way through the top here. goes right the way down, full length of the van, both sides. That's going to be a service area. So when I come to do the last uh, panel in the top, I shall make that removable. So I shall cut the, the tongue and the back of the bottom off, just so that I can uh, take that off. Um, and run all my cables through there. Um, I've also got loads of room behind these to uh, to run some cables, but it's only it's only going to be that top bit for the lights. Um, and what else? Yeah. So today I'm just going to be uh, putting some putting some uprights in here, uh, foil taping the bottom edge either side. So just crack on and uh, give it a go. Well, it's getting there. Slowly but surely, these uh, walls are starting to go up. I'm waiting for more timber for that. That's coming on Thursday. That's coming a couple of days' time. I've got some carpeting to do. I'll show you this bit over here. Over here. See, I've got to get some of this glue off. Get a bit of white spirit on it. I've carpeted. Uh, around the doors there so the panels will go straight up to it like this and then I should put some something to finish it off uh, along there and I've done the same the other side my battery come today I've I was going to order I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the cost down for everything because I've had a few disasters with the house right the um, I've had to pay out money and I've got to pay out a big chunk of money on Thursday and a big chunk of money on Saturday on the house uh, which was completely unexpected and unfortunately that's got to come out of van bill, any van bill money I've got um, so I'm now having to uh, rethink all my plans of what I'm going to be able to put in the van um, so the battery, for example, I was going to have a 220 amp hour, one one 220 amp hour AGM battery, and that was like 300 quid, a lot of money. But I budgeted for it. But now because of all this, having to, I'm having to cut bits of the finance from certain items in the van. So I've now gone for a 130 amp hour battery. Uh, which is half the price, still an AGM, not as good as the, the other one's like a premium battery, this is not as good but it's, it's still okay, it's good good enough. So I'm thinking later on once I've, I'm out in the house and I'm on the road and I ain't got the bills that I've got now and I can put some money away, I can then get another 130 identical battery and have 260 amp hours, so I can just add to it. And they recommend that as well. They say it's probably better to have multiple batteries than one single one. So I don't know if they're just trying to sell you more batteries, but that's what they recommend. I uh, bought mine from the battery store. Uh, really good price um, for that battery. It came today. So Leoc or something like that, it's called. They've got a really good reputation. Uh, so yeah, that came today. So I, I want to get that in and get the 12 volt started to, to wire up the 12 volt 
Um, what else? Still drinking lots of tea. That's the main thing. Yeah, there's a lot of things dependent on the floor now, so uh, I need to seriously start thinking about one of the next jobs is going to be putting the flooring down. I'll have to cover it up with some cardboard or tarpaulin or something to keep it okay. But once the flooring's down, I then start building some furniture in. So places to house the battery and the electrics, a place so that I can mount the diesel heat up through the floor on top of the flooring so I've not got to cut through everything twice. Uh, start building a framework for the bed. Um, and then once I do that, I'll then start working out the proper dimensions for the kitchen. The problem is with the planning. A lot of people say, oh, you've got to have it planned out. Uh, which I would agree with. If you if you can plan it out, absolutely go and plan it. If you if you can go on one of these um, computer programs, I can't remember what they're called. I know Greg Virgo uses a good one, and he's really good at it. I mean, he he, he plans everything to the detail, and that and that's really good if you can do that. The problem with me is I can't I can't work it out in my head to plan it. So, uh, I, I need to plan it as I go along. So, as I start to put things in, it's been the same with the build so far. As I start to put things in, I then start to see things opening up in front of me. And then I can make change, subtle changes and make plans. Um, like once I start putting a bed in, I think, oh yeah, the, the kitchen is going to come to there. And can't just deal with black and white measurements so I need to see it uh, so it's just a, it's either a blessing or a curse I don't know um, but yeah that's how I plan things obviously you've got certain things have to be done a certain way you've got no choice but um, you know I, I haven't got that I don't think I've got that foresight when you look at it and you go right I'm going to do this do this do this that's going to be there that's going to come to there and I'm going to build it like that I don't like to be that rigid anyway. I like to have a bit of flexibility. <laughs> it's all up in here. <laughs> I ain't got a clue really, but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. I'll tell you what though, I really wish I had a better camera and microphone. It's a bit pants this is. I'd like to I need I need at least at least another one of these mic lapel mics double the length <laughs> so that I can talk to you like that all sexy and in your face <laughs> with me mate Lee helping me I don't know what I'd do about him really um, you know up until Lee was helping me I had no one helping me out at all and just simple things like holding the other end of a piece of wood while I screw this piece in and when he comes along, I plan out roughly what we're going to do. And he's, he comes around and helps me on a Monday and a Thursday. Gives up a bit of his time, bless him. And it means I can crack on. And I see a, a massive progress. You know, with silver foil in the walls we did. Uh, right, putting, the, putting all the baton work up. Putting all the uprights in. Uh... You know, putting these in four meters, almost four meters long. I really struggled to do it on my own. I know some people have done it on their own. It's not, you can be done, but it's just easier when you've got two people. Um, especially with this cheap stuff. This is the really thin stuff, um, but it works. Wasn't sure whether it would work, and I had <coughs> I had a couple of them left over from the ceiling. Uh, so I started putting them in just to see if it works and I thought if I have good enough uprights then the whole thing is going to become a solid I mean it is, it is well solid so I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out because that's obviously a lot lighter than the thicker stuff more carpeting to do at the top at the back there and I've got some more carpeting to do around the top of the door sliding door before I put the I'm hoping in the next couple of days when Lee comes over to help me again and I finally get me delivery of timber on Thursday a couple of days time 
once that's here we can make really good progress with the walls and they will just start to shoot up I must remember to make provision for some lights that are going in the walls and the sockets will all go down the bottom but um, in the walls will be some lights that's the only thing that's really going in the walls at the moment uh, oh and there's uh, some other sockets I'm waiting to arrive uh, a switch panel and um, you know those ones with the USB in the voltmeter uh, yeah USB socket voltmeter cigarette socket and it's got a switch on it as well for the whole panel so waiting for them to arrive more stuff from China they bang on about like oh I'll trade with the EU everything I buy is from China <laughs> you know what I mean and if you buy it from this country when you read the label it says made in China so I just buy it direct anyway it's enough of me waffling on I'll catch you in the next one when we've got some more of the walls up anyway thanks for watching guys and thanks to all my new subscribers um, I really appreciate it um, you know the support it, it makes it worthwhile really uh, and some great people out there some new subscribers I'm in contact with they're such lovely people really really nice people so thanks everyone so to all you new ones that are watching please like share and subscribe tick that bell and then you'll be updated with any new videos I put up um, and please please don't forget to click that like button if you like it and I'll catch you next time thanks guys